G signing in for video number two. Hope you're all well. Um, right, a couple of mentions. First of all, heard of Spain Pipe, Alan. Um, made a comment on my video about ships leaving Haitian to go to Ireland, but I still actually still do leave Haitian, actually. It's still a very, very busy port, um, but they only go to the Isle of Man now. Going back through some of uh, Alan's videos, I noticed a while back he, he lost a family pet, which is an horrendous thing to go through. I've been through that many times, though not quite, you know, not as bad as, as the way in which you suffered your loss. Uh, last year I lost uh, my Labrador Max. Now uh, we've got another dog now, we've got a Spaniel, but he's great, but he's not the same. Um, hello to Hampshire Pipe. Pleased to meet you. Thanks for the comments on the video telling me it had actually gone up all right. It took me about five hours to do. Didn't know it would take as long as that. I think what I'll do with this one is upload it overnight. Um, just been, well, I looked back through some of Hampshire Pipe's videos. Um, I was looking at uh, the video you put up of, from Verdi's Nabucco. A sophisticated man, obviously. That was, that was good to see. Enjoyed that. Um, congratulations to Steve, the Englishman Smokes, on reaching 100 subscribers. I think if ever I was lucky enough to get that many, I don't think I'll be able to mention everyone by name. I think it'd probably start to get a bit difficult. Also, Steve, it's a nice, nice pipe collection you've got yourself there off eBay. Some crackers there. Uh, especially like that, that genre. Some of them might take a bit of cleaning up, but you, you seem to like doing that. So, I mean, really... Mm. You got some real crackers. I was quite surprised actually. Some of the sets I look at on eBay, I've never much cop at all really, but that was really good one. You must have had to really look for it. Um, that's a spark of the old bright. Ah, hello to Flyger, who's our pipe maker. Some lovely pieces he's got. I think Flyger must be. I can't, sorry, man, I can't remember what your name was. It looks like he's a trained man, but it's, um, the efforts you see that some of the sort of amateur pipe makers put up are unbelievable. And there was um, Dean Dongle who was, who was making pipes, and I don't know how he did it. I, I wouldn't know where to start. Hello to Katoshki. Oh, I think there's another one from Germany, uh, Pipe Collector. Some lovely, stunning pieces he's got. Some uh, Paul, some of his Paul Winslow ones are really, really nice. Got a lovely collection there. Um, talk a bit about pipes. Yeah, the pipe I'm smoking at the moment. This is um, this is from the Peterson Writers collection. I don't automatically. I mean, you, you probably know every uh, Peterson come out with a with a line of something that they are. It's either Irish mountains or Irish lakes or something. Uh, last year, I think this came out. And then in this year, the writer's collection. I say I don't normally leap out and buy the first one they come up with. Um, the briar, the grain briar version of this was about 122 pounds, but the rusticated version was near a 70, I think. So I thought I thought I'd invest. It's very nice. I think it's a Zulu. I'm not good on shapes. I think it's probably a Zulu. It smokes really well. Cake's building up a bit now. It's got a nice thick bowl on it. I'll show you. They're quite an attractive looking looking pipe. But what, what I do with pipes, um, every month I have a, I give myself a budget of 40 to 45 pounds. Sometimes I'll spend it on pipes, sometimes I'll like buy something else, you know, a CD or whatever I want. Um, so I'll decide to sort of add to the pipe collection and then save for a couple of months and then and look for something. Um, I've recently found a site on eBay um, in Western Europe, I'm not going to give away too much actually, that's about everyone would probably know it, where we have some really, um, quite nice Danish pipes and things like that and uh, reconditioned second-hand estate pipes you know, obviously these are stories done them up um, and they were going for about a hundred pounds well some of them were a hundred pounds I mean some of the makes we were talking about are really expensive ones then go for a few hundred um, so next year I might well invest it be after Christmas now so I've spent up for this year I spent this month's money on the, on the video camera <laughs> but that's what I'll probably do there um, let's put this music back on a bit. That's my dog over here, Charlie. Post has just come by the sound of things. This, um, this is a nice CD I bought this month. If you're, if you're into classical music, or you want to get into classical music, Beethoven's piano concertos are, are quite good. And you can get this on Amazon quite reasonably. This is piano concerto number three the first movement. Second movement's better. 
It's um, you, you probably know it if you heard it. It's quite a nice, nice, you know, nice, easy-going piece of music. So that's a that's a good one to look out for. Right, that's about it. Nice talking to you all. Um, see you again soon. Cheers. All the best. <laughs>